we live on a big and beautiful planet circling the Sun. Planet Earth. The big beautiful planet is our Earth Mother. She made us. We deserve to be here. And we came here in the same manner as the trees and the bees and the whales and the snails. And we all have the same job to do. So Mother Nature gives us everything we need to prosper and do our jobs. Our job, the reason that we are here, is like that of all other forms of life, to pursue our personal interests in a manner that enhances the well-being of the whole, from local to global, from society to ecology, to make things better. Most of our big beautiful planet is covered in ocean, a big blue rolling ocean, and in the ocean live the coral. When we hear of coral, we often think of the white twig-shaped things in gift shops or the coral reefs they form. The hard structure is made by a tiny animal called a coral polyp. It's like an anemone or a jellyfish, but it makes a hard shell from calcium carbonate, CaCO3. These reef building corals are known as stony corals, also hard corals or sclerectinia. There are also soft corals, but they don't make hard shells. Stony corals have all manner of interesting names such as Parodes, Platygyra, Acropora, Montipora, Staghorn, Elkhorn, Brain and Plate. A coral reef is made from the interconnected shells of millions upon millions of tiny coral polyps. Each generation of polyp grows on top of the shell of the previous generation and in this way over time coral reefs grow. Coral reefs can be huge. The Great Barrier Reef is the largest living structure on earth, an interconnected chain of 2,900 individual reefs stretching over 2,000 kilometers along the Queensland coast and yet the coral polyps that built the Great Barrier Reef are tiny, sometimes just a few millimeters across. And like all living things, they're always looking for something to eat. Coral polyps feed in different ways, sometimes hunting, sometimes farming. When hunting, their tentacles wave about in the water around them and capture organic material drifting past. When farming, the coral polyps nurture a type of algae in their skin that captures sunlight and produces sugar. These are the zoanthellae algae, and they are responsible for giving the color its coral, the coral its color. The zoanthelae algae allow corals to survive in places where there is very little nutrient in the water and not so much organic material drifting by. These places are known for their crystal clear waters. And because they are made of calcium carbonate, it means that as the coral reefs grow they pull millions of tons of CO2 from the atmosphere and lock it away to help keep the climate just the way it should be, cool enough to foster an abundance of life on Earth. And around the world, coral reefs are the habitat of many types of fish that are the food of people who live nearby. Coral trout, sweep nip and grow pine, bash the near, to name a few. And around the world, many thousands of people find a livelihood from the tourists who come to see the reefs, the scuba divers and the snorkelers. And plus, coral reefs protect shorelines from erosion, from storms and strong tides. Biodiversity, beauty, carbon sequestration, coastal protection, food, livelihood, tourism. I mean, just think about the coral. In the crystal clear waters, an amazing profusion of life, a biological diversity vaster even than the tropical rainforest, a subaquatic vista of unimaginable beauty, an exceptional visual feast of colors and textures, soft corals and hard corals and a myriad types of fish darting back and forth, sunlight spangles on the sandy seafloor, so many shapes and colors, branching coral, brain coral, acropora, parietes, the extraordinary complexity and diversity of life, a vibrant part of the shimmering diaphanous veil of life on earth. So you say, thanks coral for everything you do. 
how are things with you, Coral? And the Coral says, Oh, not so good. You humans haven't been kind to us, Corals. Besides the overfishing and the pollution from farmland, you're pumping over 30 billion tonnes of heat trapping gas into the atmosphere every year. And most of the heat trapped by the greenhouse gas ends up in the ocean. So the coral reefs are overheating and increasingly exposed to bleaching events. And the projections for climate change and ocean heating are not looking good for us, Coral. You really need to restore the climate. Pull a trillion tonnes of CO2 out of the atmosphere by mid-century. And go organic with your agriculture near coral reefs to limit the nutrient sediment and pesticide pollution. Then we can recover and you can dive amongst us and see our brilliant colours and abundant schools of fish. And you say to the coral, I can do that. I will do that. I will think of you in the clear seas with your complex diversity of shapes and colours with your photosynthetic algae absorbing the light of the sun. I will think of you when I see the clouds. I will think of you when I see the rain. I will stand up for you. I will stand with the people who support the coral. I will stand against the corporations and the governments who harm the coral. I will make sacrifice for you because you are doing your job. I mean, just think about the coral, doing their job, pursuing their personal interests in a manner that enhances the well-being of the whole. The coral is so inspiring. Imagine if we could be like coral, doing our jobs. Our job, the reason we are here, is like that of all other forms of life, to pursue our personal interests in a manner that enhances the well-being of the whole, from the local to the global, from society to ecology, to make things better. Thank you, Coral, for what you do. I will think of you. I will act for you. I will protect you. You see, this is why we are here to contribute to the well-being of the global ecosystem so that other generations and other life forms might enjoy this beautiful planet. And when we die, we go to the same place as the trees and the bees and the whales and the snails and to the biochemical flux from where life arises so that new life might form from the minerals in our body. Thank you, Colin. I'll be there for you.